Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some exciting updates coming from the folks at Sketchfab. So Sketchfab has announced that they now support Blender 3.0, which means that if you would like to get the whole 740,000 free assets, you can now get them directly in Blender. And for those who are thinking about getting this, it makes sense to see that there's a plugin that you can actually go ahead and grab right now and you can find it here. Link to this is gonna be in the description for those who like to get it. And all you need to do is download the Sketchfab plugin and you install it and you're good to go. Now it's worth knowing that this has been tested for Blender 2.93.4, 2.93.5, 3.0 the beta, and also 3.1. So you can use these tools. And of course, down here, you can also see that they've added compatibility for 3.0, the beta, and also 3.1, which makes a lot of sense owing to the fact that you can actually download Blender for free and you can do more stuff with it. And yes, you can also download this and start working with it. And for those that are looking for where to get free content, you know, free asset, you can grab them here. So with that said, let's dive over to Blender and see what this add-on actually looks like. So with Blender simply open right here. Once you download the add-on, all you need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference and install it. And once you do that, if you press N on the keyboard, you would notice that right here within the end panel, you have all of your add-ons and right over here, you can see that you have it. So one thing to keep in mind is you need to have a Sketchfab account, which is totally for free. So you can log in and go ahead and find some stuff. Now, if you would like to download anything, all you need to do is click, go over to this section, pick any of the things you want. So in this case, let's say we would like this, you can get the stylized mushroom and you can see what the licensing looks like. Let's actually stretch this. And once you're done, you can click on imports. And from here, you can start doing all the lovely things you would like to do with your scene. We can go over to the render section and you can see what we have here. So let's just see, I think uh, this is running on Eevee. Let's see what we have. So you can see it looks exactly like this. You know, if you'd like to style it to look exactly like what you have, you can set this all the way down, go right here and we can turn on bloom. Let's open up the bloom, take this backwards, and you can start seeing uh, some of the stuff. You can increase this as much as you want, play with the radius, and you have it here. So all of the assets that you want, you can find them here. And for those who like to search for stuff, you can. So you can search for things like bags, press the enter key, and you can see like, you know, tons of free bags. I mean, if you're looking for bags to populate your scene that you can work with for free, you can find them here. If you're looking for cars, you can just simply hit the enter button and this is going to go over to the internet, search the repository and give you all the cars that are totally for free that you can grab. And just like we mentioned, you can select any of them, you can download them, you can search all the way up, all the way down. Let's say we're looking for things like tables as well. Let's hit the enter button as well. And of course, you can see we have lots of tables. It's also worth mentioning that there is Sketchfab for Teams. Now you might want to learn more about this and this is gonna take you over to a page where you can see how you can manage a 3D asset as a team and this is lovely. It's also worth knowing that if you create any content right here on Blender and you like to export this, let's go back and you like to export this, you can simply go over to the export section, select the model that you've made, put the title, put a description, add a tag, select this section that says selection only, else it's gonna export the entire scene and then you can upload it directly to your account. For anyone that's thinking about getting tons of free assets directly in Blender, you might want to consider checking out the Sketchfab add-on that is now available and you can make the most out of it. Meanwhile, for those that are also thinking about how to export stuff from their own 3D tools, maybe you have no idea what 3D tools currently support Sketchfab export natively, you might want to also go ahead and check it right here. So there's a couple of importers that you can use. So these things include Blender, Cinema 4D, Naka, Substance, Vectory, Godot, Unity, Unreal, and also a couple more that you can check out. So with these tools, you'll be able to export and import stuff. For those who like to join the 3 December 2021 Sketchfab daily prompt, you might also want to go ahead and check this. So this is a challenge that is going on and it will be ending on the 21st of December 2021. And once you're done, you can simply upload this on Sketchfab and you can also proceed to upload the render of your model on any social media platform of your choice and use the hashtag 3 December 2021. And that's more like it. For those looking for free stuff, you can simply go over to Sketchfab directly from here, go over to explore downloadables to get it, or you can enjoy the whole 740,000 free Sketchfab assets and start working with it directly in Blender. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.